Jazz. Come on. Run. Alrighty, let's see where this one falls. It's a pretty big one. I mean, nothing huge, but a medium-sized spruce tree. You can see I've got the cuts, the hinge cut ready. Already is done. It shouldn't even be standing right now. It should be able to just nudge it over. There it goes. Pretty much where I wanted it to go into that clearing. Good thing it didn't go backwards. The floor structure, I wanted it to all, I didn't want any support in the middle of the cabin because. In case the ground moves with freezing and thawing, I want to be able to adjust it easily. I don't want to have to crawl under the cabin to add shims. So everything rests on some huge beams I built up. The floor joists have to span the 16 feet. It's a 16 feet wide cabin. 16 by 20 is the living or the heated space, and then there's an 8 foot porch on it. So I had to span across with 2 by 12s in order to give it a nice rigid floor structure. This is measurement that block there. And then about three and a half inches bent at the end of the pipe. And the three bar. We've got R30 insulation in the floor. Uh, screen over the over the insulation to keep the squirrels out because they will carry your insulation away. Notice the squirrels trap. We do we do get rid of some squirrels around here. We're pulling a midnight. We got the insulation in so we have to get the flooring the deck down to keep rain from soaking the insulation. So it's a midnight build. A little quick progress report here. Two days of basically fighting rain and putting up, rearranging the camp. And uh, we had to make room for this tent, which has been great to have because, well, it's been raining. So we do want to cut in here. It's just a good place to hang out when it's raining. cutting table set up. So we had to move the campers and get it re-leveled in order to make room for it. So today we have put together a first wall. 20 foot wall. And then we're just now trying to figure out how we're gonna lift that sucker and stand it up. not to put the plywood on it because it already weighs more than we can lift. So we're going to have to use something, I think. So that is the wall. The, I don't know, it would be west, east wall. We took out some trees a couple days ago that were threatening to fall on the, camp, uh, the cabin we're at, but we busted our chops today because we had decent weather to get this wall built. So far, so good. And there's Jake. Wasting time making messes somewhere.
My son and I built those brackets that hold the timbers together just by cutting steel and welding it together. I think they turned out nice. It gives it sort of a Scandinavian or Viking look, I think. This is all going to get graveled out here too. I'm going to build this up to the steps. Uh, a lot of this is temporary scaffolding. This will be taken out. That's just there to help us build. This section over here is a loft. So those beams will stay there overhead. Up there will be a, a large sleeping loft. And this overhead here will go away so that you'll see the, you'll, when you come in the door, you'll, you'll see the, the ceiling. The, uh, and what we've done is we've sheathed it, not with plywood, but with, with two by sixes, which was extremely labor intensive and pretty damn expensive. Uh, but the look is what I was going for. I'm going for like a barn or an old style building look. So we even stained these 2x6s uh, before they went up there so we don't have any overhead work to do once we uh, once we complete the roof. All the insulation and the sheet, uh, this roofing sheet metal goes out goes on from on top of this. So this is what we will see from inside the building. I think it's going to look pretty cool. And that half, this is the, that's the back half of the building there. That's going to be a sleeping loft. It's 16 feet wide by about 10 feet long. And again, this is the deck, the temporary scaffolding that will be taken out once the building's done. This is a temporary scaffolding for the just so we can build out here, you know, the roof and the structure. That's going to be removed as well, but I think in the future I'm going to put a proper permanent deck out here to, to just make a nice little uh, hangout outside and maybe even screen it in. We've got beautiful mountains in that direction if I ever clear enough trees. So you could sit out here on this porch and, and look at uh, some 15,000 foot mountains not too far away. But for now, this is just a temporary deck that will go away until we do it with a proper deck.
this is just a temporary ladder for getting up and down. I think that the permanent ladder is going to go up in the middle of the cabin. Uh, it just makes more sense, gives you headroom. When you get to the top of this one, you're bunking your head on the rafters. Uh, so as you can see, there's windows we haven't cut out yet. I think we're going to leave some of them, like the wood stove is going to go here, we think. So I think we're going to leave this window solid and not put a window in there. That gives you a place to hang coats and have a fire bo uh, firewood box. Uh, I think the window on the front will be enough. Every time you open up a window, you close off some use of your wall space. That quarter of the, of the cabin under the loft will be a, a decent little kitchen or kitchenette. Uh, as, de as large as you can have in a 16 by 20 cabin. There, this large window here is a south facing window so that alone in the spring might even heat this cabin up if we insulate it well enough. It's 2 by 6 framed on 2 foot centers. Uh, so we should be able to insulate it pretty well. The game plan for the floor, it's already got R30 insulation under this decking uh, but I'm going to put down foam on top of the of the decking and then put uh, some sort of flooring on top of that. That way it will make a nice warm floor in, on those cold winter mornings. Uh, two, two by material or any framing material transfers heat or cold. Uh, they call it thermal bridging, but so if, if you just put a piece of sheetrock here, this two-by material will transfer the cold in or the heat out and it makes for cold spots so on a floor you put a little foam down just even a thin layer that breaks the thermal bridge and you won't have cold spots on the floor from, from the uh, framing material then out here of course is the porch which is pretty much already finished it's our only usable room in the house so far
later. Straight.
it is down to the last sheet and I'm trying to figure out how in the hell you screw that sheet down because you can't stand on it. It's too, too steep. You can't even hang from a rope on it and <clears throat> do any actual work. I'm going to do sort of a ladder, so a 2x4 ladder on it. I'm going to screw the ladder down, of course, so we'll see how this goes. Being careful not to put these ladder parts where I have to put sheet metal screws. quick shot of pretty much how it's gonna stay for the winter I just finished taking all the scaffolding apart and hauling it to the other side of the cabin so no more going up on the roof I'm never going up there again on this side I gotta spend half the summer on the other side though but anyway this is how it looks uh, at the end of summer or fall 2023 on the business side the money side of the cabin and here's how it looks on the 